Now it's time to add some finishing touches to this earthy building block. There's no point in adding too much detail to these chunks at this stage. We can always add more later. It's better to wait till the level is assembled, so I know which bits the player will see. At this stage, I also like to touch up the colours of the sculpture using the spray paint tool. When using spray paint, I like to turn up the soft blend and turn down the opacity so it's nice and subtle. I also find it useful to switch on surface snap for spray painting with the wireless controller too. This keeps the imp on the surface of the sculpture. The final touch is to tweak the audio surface type so that the puppet's footsteps sound correct. Now that piece is done, I save the sculpture as an element to my creations. Now that I've made the basic sculpture, I can clone it and customise it to create variants and then save those as nested elements. This means that if I update the basic one, I can update the customised one to pick up the changes I make. In the next step, we'll create some variants.